<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, I'll try to be uh, as rapid as possible. I know it's almost uh, lunchtime. But I want to start with a very quick story about how we go to this journey. So basically, I've been building uh, enterprise software startups for almost two decades, for 22 years. I started my journey in the cyber security space, where I actually started when it was network security. Uh, I was the founder of uh, NetEye, Zero Day, Michelle. Then I moved to financial technologies. And basically, what we saw, me and my uh, co-founder, is that basically for 20 years, nothing has changed in the way how a vendor slash a startup is approaching an enterprise and trying to convince him to open a testing environment so he can do a proof of concept to sell him the technology that they were selling. So about uh, three years ago, when we sold our previous uh, company, we said that we want to make a change in this uh, landscape. We didn't know how big this change is going to be, but we started the pace by actually doing something which is very unique for entrepreneurs, is we started with the legwork of actually understanding the market. So we interviewed 170 enterprises and vendors from across the globe, because we want to make sure that this pain is not because we are Israelis with bad English accent, is that it has a global uh, pain. And we interviewed companies here in the UK, uh, in the West Coast, uh, in uh, Asia, and we interviewed companies from totally different verticals. So we started with the financial uh, verticals like uh, banks, insurance company, credit card provider, pharmaceutical, large retailers, automotive industry, and different sizes of companies from Fortune 10 to Fortune 500 because we want to make sure that we totally understand the, the pain of the, of the enterprises from different verticals. And what we saw surprisingly is that uh, this pain that we've been seeing from the side of the startup point of view was much, much bigger from the enterprise uh, uh, eyes. And the pain started, it doesn't matter how big this enterprise was, it was uh, Boeing or GE, up to a, a small, medium uh, law firm. All of them have lack of capacity, lack of resource. Regulation is a, is a killer. Privacy, security, etc. So we decided that we want to uh, uh, make the change, and we created Proof. So Proof basically is the, the first POC, proof of concept as a service platform, that basically we provide the enterprises with smart environments outside of their networks to run all the innovation uh, uh, testing, search, and deployment by providing an environment that is outside of the network. We are taking care of the security, privacy. We provide APIs for the technology to connect. You'll be surprised how many CTOs of leading banks, including here in the UK, came to us and said, look, when we are searching for a blockchain technology, we want to make sure that this young, sexy startup that we're going to uh, choose will know how to implement to our legacy uh, uh, network. We provide KPIs, how to actually measure. How do you compare two blockchain companies? So we provide KPIs for uh, this measurement. And the last thing, we provide data. I think the GDPR, which is the, the nightmare for every enterprise, is actually the best thing that ever happened for us because we create a full-blown set of data for that POC environment. So that was my journey of creating proof. But this journey is actually in, I think, my scale, my, my scars on my back for my, my previous uh, startups. It's basically the problem of engagement of how an enterprise is meeting with a startup and this entire relationship. Now, I would say that the main thing that uh, you need to understand is that startups and vendors are seeing the enterprise as a monster. There's a very big DNA uh, gap between the two entities that you are familiar with. But enterprises are trying to uh, work with startups in a mind thinking that is wrong to the process. Startups, as you know, they are very quick. But sometimes the enterprise see this uh, quickness as something that it's not uh, uh, baked enough. Or the solution that the startup wants to uh, push to the enterprise is not uh, uh, close enough. On the eyes of the startups, in many, many cases, they're trying to do the product market fit to actually really understand the pain of the enterprise on that side, and they're willing to do the, the changes and the uh, complexity and to adjust themselves to that uh, uh, environment. In many, many cases, when we failed in the past and my colleagues failed in the past, were well, all because 
the information was missing. First of all, startup, we always said yes. I never met a startup that if an enterprise comes to him and said, can you do this? The answer was no. And as a matter of if this startup was in a totally different domain, always the answer is yes. But this, this is the, the, the biggest problem, is that if you as the enterprise or you as the customers are not very, very uh, uh, strict of the requirements, the process, the budget, what is actually expected out of this process that you are running now, uh, the proof of concept with that uh, vendor, then things will go to a nightmare. And this is a very crucial thing to, to uh, implement, which is part of the thing that we are solving uh, on the proof platform. Innovation is a time-sensitive thing. You know, uh, my, just uh, my uh, uh, former speaker just talked about insurance. Insurance is one of the, the, growing, uh, the fastest growing vertical on our platform because they woke up one day suddenly realizing that if they're not going to disrupt themselves, they're going to lose their business. But if a process is going to take years, because if you need to uh, uh, overcome regulation, you need to overcome the legal, you need to, to find the right uh, vendors to open a POC environment, start running the POC. Usually for a regulated industry, this process can take between uh, 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 two to three quarters to a year. But you will lose your business if you are not working very fast. So the whole process is that you must start working fast and to paralyze the, uh, sorry, to work in parallel uh, with all the POCs environments and try to find a way how you can fasten the, the solution. We have on our platform, for example, uh, an insurance company that open 22 POCs with 100 vendor connected. Now, this process would have taken them three to five years that they finish in four months. And this is a crucial thing when you're trying to, to get uh, uh, innovation. You know, only today uh, you're meeting 15 uh, startups, which is actually well, one of the best uh, uh, startups uh, uh, that I've seen. But there are so many startups out there. How do you know that you as the enterprise are connected to the, to the right uh, uh, startup? Just for an example, we have on our platform 1,100 and, and chain vetted startup that we checked out of 4,200 that applied to prove. So almost two thirds we politely denied because either they were too early or they didn't have real technology or what we call a pretenders. And this is exactly the startup that we are trying to filter or the search that you need to do when you are checking to find the right uh, uh, startup for you. And the crucial thing for you as the enterprise to, to check that is run POC. Test every technology that uh, you are checking. <laughs> You'll be surprised uh, how many uh, f falling uh, and, and failures in, in POC we are seeing because the, the definition of the entire process was not uh, uh, close enough. There was not uh, uh, the right information. There was no data for the POC. So they rendered the proof of concept on a totally different uh, data. And once they wanted to implement the solution, it was totally failed. So the data is a crucial thing of defining the right uh, vendors uh, for you. So just to summarize what uh, uh, I've just said. First of all, as the enterprise, you must understand when you're working with a startup, you're working with a, a young vendor, there's a different in the DNA, but you can use that to harness to, to your power. If you know how to work with the vendors and, and uh, startups uh, in the right way, you can rapid your uh, process, you can get innovation in a much, much uh, faster way. Totally align the expectation between the uh, enterprise and the startup. What is the definition of the POC? What do you want to achieve by uh, finishing uh, the, the process? Use the time that startups can work very, very fast, so get innovation faster to uh, uh, the market. Run multiple POC. Don't just check one technology. Don't just check one technology from a, a certain type of vertical, like a SaaS base or an on-prem or a vertical. Try to do a mix, a mix of uh, uh, solutions so you'll find the best uh, solution uh, for you. At the end of the day, don't be afraid of innovation. Run fast. It's the only way to succeed. Thank you very much. <clears throat>